What's going on guys? It is Bonte and today, yes, we are back on Call of Duty World War 2 and today I'm going to be showing you specifically my sniper class setup over here. Now, on this game, pretty much most of the snipers and for this card, most of the snipers are really good. It's not been like any other past card where one sniper has been completely overpowered. You get the Lee Enfield as soon as you kind of do start off the game and it is just as good as any kind of sniper as like the car and the M19. Now, these three ones are the bolt ones and this one is the semi-automatic so if you do want to spray you could choose this one and if you do usually get a hit marker or you don't get the first shot correct then the carabin is probably the one you want to stick with however i'm going to be showing definitely the car which is the one you get for after you prestige your division now if you did miss my previous video i did talk about the best smgs and the mp40 so make sure you don't go and miss that video i'll link it at the end of the video and make sure you go check out on my channel it is a must to watch if you want to make sure you level up incredibly fast and i do give some tips on how you can also level up fast so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys the best sniping class not trick shotting and just how you can do better with a sniper so now i'm going to show two classes just like i did with the smg i'm going to be showing the car which is what you get the sniper which is like the best sniper probably in the game and as i said again it is not too overpowered but after you prestige your division and it is definitely a, once again worth actually grinding out the sniper division i'm going to be showing of course the car 98 the other sniper i believe is first off this first off sniper that you actually get and there is like an actual already pre-made class with the lee enfield that you can do well if you are familiar with the beta there was a class with this and it was op it was just so good i'm going to be showing that lee enfield class first off because i believe most people won't have probably unlocked the car i'm going to be showing you guys the attachments first so of course you want to run the mountain division which obviously if you click on it you're going to have sniper strap shooter always invisible to enemy recon aircraft which i did realize that is literally so helpful in actually trying to get like behind enemy team and getting sniper kills you also hit into player controlled streaks which is once again just another bonus and silent movement this is once you actually level up the prestige as you can see i'm level four on this division now particularly for the sniper classes you can choose a bunch of basic training the number one i'd say you want to preferably choose this one which enemy targets appear from further away and the minimap coverage is increased by a ton you can pretty much see the vast majority of the map that is what you definitely want to run if you won't be running around and you'll just be kind of in one location in particular however i usually always run run this one which you take two primary weapons and you swap weapons faster particularly for trick shots however this isn't a trick shot in class but i would definitely prefer to choose lookout if you are going ahead for this class so you can actually see the enemy tags from further away and get those sniper kills before you do get sniped off particularly in war when you know there is a sniper battle across the bridge various other locations so and then attachments is definitely most important however it isn't completely vital but rapid fire is a must for actually getting one quick scope and then getting another quick scope or even a hard scope and actually making sure that you do get the other enemy that does appear after you kill one person and then of course i do run fmj the increased damage through surfaces against and also extra damage against the streaks however that isn't particularly like a must also once again brodies would be good for trick shots reduce the sway that doesn't benefit too much and then this is the acog site i haven't used it as much yet however i've seen that it is just as useful actually running this scope i would preferably choose the normal original scope so you have 10 bullets without you even needing to reload and this is why the lee enfield is actually an incredibly good sniper you won't actually find yourself even reloading at all so that's like you don't even have to worry about that and usually the damage as you can see that 11 damage you will most likely get a kill from one sniper shot especially if you have fmj you probably most likely will get the kill once again what i've not realized is you can switch this to rifleman if you maybe get a hit marker or you miss your first shot and it's close quarters you can obviously stick on rifleman quickly put on an smg of your choice ppsh i would recommend you do miss your first shot and this would be a great gun you can also get feeds with it but then also snipe so it's a great mixture of both for now we'll keep it on lookout and so i definitely found myself actually using a concussion over any other like tactical equipment or lethal equipment you could run a lethal however if you're going to be just trying to get a sniper kill i definitely say a concussion is the one you want to choose and you will already have it unlocked of course so that's going to be it for the lee enfield class however now we're on to the actual car 98 which is the gun and sniper that you actually get after you prestige in the division definitely worth going ahead and trying to actually unlock this class the thing with this sniper is that it has such a great rate of fire so you can shoot and then shoot immediately again that increases so much once you actually stick on rapid fire the comparison to this class well to this gun to the lee enfield is that as you can see when we take off extended mags it only has five out of 25 and usually you'll find yourself reloading this gun quite a lot. So that's why I usually stick on extended mags onto this class, which is, you know, the K98. The K98 will be in the gameplay, of course. And as you can see here, I do run MP4 in Rifleman. I usually should stick on Lookout. However, I find myself kind of doing close quarters, kind of like sniping. So I usually just put on the Rifleman. I definitely probably will switch out. Yeah, I will put on Lookout for now 
and then actually stick on this machine pistol. Once you unlock the machine pistol, it is all right. However, I'd say you stick on extended mags definitely for the machine pistol because you do find yourself reloading before you even actually are able to get the kill with all the bullet shots from it. So I thought this would be just another rundown of my class setup. You guys to just see what kind of classes you guys can actually make. And if you guys want this class, pause the video right now and kind of copy it right now. Of course, you won't have probably the machine pistol unlocked. Who knows? I don't know. Maybe you might have. And you'll find yourself, you know, usually using the sniper class and just make sure you kind of use the same attachment. However, this is going to be it. I also use the M19. When you do unlock the M19 and you don't have the car not yet unlocked and you are tied to the Lee Enfield, I would definitely switch to the M19. It is really good. However, if you might have unlocked all the attachments, you'll unlock it really quick once again on the M19 and make sure you, of course, just stick it on again. Now, when you do unlock the M19, you want to stick on extended mags because it doesn't have as great as a magazine as the Lee Enfield. However, it is much better in damage and you will get actual kill on the first shot however overall best sniper in the game is of course the car 98 but you won't unlock it first off and you don't need to worry it's not completely too op you'll find that lee enfield does just as good of a job as a sniper in comparison to any other sniper there's going to be a quick rundown of two classes in particular the lee enfield which you will unlock straight off the bat and then obviously you once you level it up a bit you can actually get the attachments and stick these two on extend mag rapid fire and that is the two main attachments you want to have on here look out preferably and then of course the mountain division for every sniper usually of uh, you could even run airborne for that to sprint faster i just usually you know keep on mountain division car 98 and the lee enfield one for if you haven't leveled up too much and you've just started on the game and one if you have prestige the division for mountain and you want to kind of learn of which attachments would be best for actually sniping then i hope this video did come helpful or informative or enjoyable in any way if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy comment down below what kind of snipers and attachments you do run and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching so much it's been your boy bond Peace.